As I said, she's not a Soka, she's the Soka. Thank you. You look different, are you alright? I assure you, it's just a phase. We've got Hasbro Black Series Star Wars Holochrom Collection. This is a series of like the hologram figures that they did. And the one we are looking at is a Tipsy Ahsoka Tano. So let's take a closer look. When they announced these, I was very excited. I do love translucent figures. So I ordered Ahsoka and the Mandalorian. So Mando will be coming up soon, but I could not wait to open Ahsoka. And let's take a closer look at it. The detail is really amazing. Sometimes if you're not looking too closely, it does get kind of lost with the, the no paint application and the clear plastic, but I still love them. Now let's take a look at the articulation. So just like the normal Ahsoka Tano figure, it's got the double shoulder articulation, which is really great for getting some really cool lightsaber poses and the legs. She's got the big baggy pants because she was born in the 90s. And yep. The, so the articulation on these I really like because the pants in the front go over it, so when she moves her legs, it doesn't like cause a split between it. That's kind of a new design they've been using the last few years. I think it, it looks great. It's, a, it's an upgrade, I would say. And we got our elbow articulation, again, for those nice lightsaber poses. And then let's take a look at some of the other accessories that she comes with in this box. We've got her dual lightsabers. And we can just see there's got a stand in there, and it's got a little thing in the front. And then the box art is really cool. It's like the what the Holocom looks like on the side, then the back what it looks like in all its glory. And a very basic box, what you would expect. It does have a window on the packaging, which there are a lot of people excited about that. And I, I think it makes for better box opening when you can just tear through it and see the figure pop out. And then she's having trouble standing, but we did see she's got pegs on her feet, and I believe there are pegs on the stand she comes with. So from a you know, display purpose, she'll be able to plop right on those and not fall over. She has very skinny feet, so that's why she keeps falling over. All right, the box is open. Now we can start accessorizing our Ahsoka. So let's take a look. Got some, it's like a double plastic on the, the stand. And then we've got her lightsabers in there, and it does look like they're the lightsabers that uh, come apart. So you have the hilt, and then you have the, the light piece of it, so you can have them light on or off, or she can just hold them unlit. I do like that, that feature. So we've got one, and then we've got the second one coming out. And there we go. She is ready to be armed and dangerous. That's a cool little stand that it comes with. Got a peg on the bottom. I'm assuming it goes in here somewhere. There's a little hole on the top that it's going to kind of slide in. So I guess you can put it in front of her as she stands. I don't necessarily like that look. So I'll put it on just to see what it looks like, but I'm probably never going to display it that way. And now for the most important piece of the Jedi, we've got her weapons, the lightsaber. So you can see there's a peg that goes in and out. So you can have your lightsaber displayed either on or off. So if it's dark and your Jedi happens to be afraid of the dark, flip the lightsaber on, and then you go. No monsters are sitting in the middle of the night. And then we'll grab her second lightsaber, just in case it gets really dark in the middle of the night. And like we can just plop that right off, and then we can put it back on. So we can see her both with it out and with it kind of ready for the attack. And one thing I was concerned about with the translucent figures is the quality of the plastic is not always the same as like a normal figure, but in this case, high quality plastic. So I'm very happy that Hasbro kind of put in that special level of effort and didn't anticipate people just keeping them in the boxes. So all in all, this is a pretty nice looking figure. Love the articulation. And now we're going to see the stand in action. We can see on here that we need three AAA batteries. There we go, the favorite battery of Henry Winkler, the Fonz. And we did not grab a screwdriver. So let's grab that. There we go. So I believe my screwdriver might be a little bit too big for this one. Yeah, it's a very tiny screw. But I think if I am careful, I can do it right without stripping it. So I'm just going to do this real quick, 
Hopefully I don't screw it up. That means I'd be turning it in the opposite direction. Hopefully I screw it out. So when I put the batteries in here, what I believe is going to happen is the stand is going to light up and it's going to light up the translucent figure and it's going to give her that hologram look. So that's the hope, that's the intention. And let's see how that looks. So we got our, our batteries, the Henry Winkler special, and we'll just put those in. And there we go, nice and easy. And then we'll just screw this back on. I won't screw it on as tight because as batteries change, they come and go. And this is not going to be knocked around, so I don't have to worry about the screw coming loose. All right, here we go. So i got a button on the front. Oh, and it has a nice little light effect on there when it lights up. So let's put our feet on the pegs and take a look. This is the moment of truth. And... Dun, dun. All right, one last pose. Ta -da! Oh, there we go. All right, so it shines very nicely at the bottom. The light transfer kind of gets lost around her big baggy pants. Um, so the effect was not quite what I was hoping for. Like, as you can see, the feet, they line up perfect, or they light up perfectly, but I don't know. The, the rest of it doesn't quite have that same effect. I'm going to give it a try with the lights off to see if that makes it glow a little bit better. So we'll turn it on, flip the lights off, and take a look. I mean, it, it it's the same problem. It glows brighter at the bottom, but you really lose that that effect from pretty much the knee up. So I would say I'm going to check the Mandalorian one that I have, see if that shines a little bit better. Otherwise, I'd say the light aspect of it is a little bit gimmicky. It doesn't quite work, I think, the way that it was probably intended, but the figure itself, definitely worth it. Really like the the translucent blue hologram look to it, so definitely worth picking up for that. And enjoy some more stop motions. Thanks. I have an idea for dinner. One sec. Whoa! I'll go get Hill. <laughs> Ahsoka, quickly, we've got corn on the cob. I will be there, I guarantee. <laughs> Do you think she'll make it? I hope it's not just another hollow promise.